This week's camera is the Pentax P3. I've owned this camera the longest. It was given to me in about 1987. Didn't get a lens with it at the time and not having any money. I get a full manual Rikonon 3570 zoom. It's uh, f3.5 to f4.5. Put a nice polarizer on it because I took this camera to the mountains with me a lot. Since then, I've acquired another body and several lenses. Uh, it's great for street shooting. I've got their version of the Nifty 50. It's a 50 millimeter f2.0 with the uh, Pentax A mode for uh, programmed auto exposure. Basically, uh, you can leave the shutter dial set at anything and it will come up with what it thinks is a good shutter and aperture combo. It's great for wandering around doing street shooting like that. Let's see what else I have. Um, when you take it off of the A mode on uh, a Pentax A lens or on a manual only lens like the Rikonon, it's still an incredibly simple uh, camera to shoot with. Uh, load the film if you want to do aperture priority, you set the aperture and the shutter speeds will flash and it'll have another shutter speed showing what it's recommending. You just twist the dial and then ready to go. Same thing if you wanted to shoot shutter priority, you set your shutter on the dial and you get the same flashing numbers. You move the aperture until the uh, numbers line up, the recommendation versus what it's metering. It's uh, through the lens metering. This camera won't work without a battery. It uses, thankfully, common uh, LR44 button batteries. You can pick them up at any drugstore. Um, it's really nice to focus. It's got a split image and then the matte screen in the background. And then I can't remember what it's called. Ah, the micro prism. Uh, around the split image. So if it's too dim for the split image, you can just use the matte background piece of cake to focus this. Um, there's a couple of other nifty features. Uh, it's got a depth of field preview so you can see uh, what it's actually going to look like. And it's also got, I'm blocking it here, a memory lock. So if you're shooting in programmed auto exposure you get your setting, you hold the button, you can recompose it, it'll keep the exact same exposure settings. Uh, it's a nice small body, it's heavy, it's a solidly built camera. I'm not easy on equipment and I've had this since 1987. Um, that's about it. So I started shooting this roll wandering around town with the 50 on it. I've done some with the Rikon on. I might throw a telly on it and play around a little more. But uh, I'll finish out the roll, get it processed, and I'll see you then.